Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hoping that you are having a good math day. Thank you for watching this clip on trig simplification. When we simplify trig equations or tri trig expressions, actually, there's no equal sign, we're going to treat it exactly how we simplify our fractions. If I have 1 over 7 plus 1 over 5, well, we all have 35 as common denominator least common denominator. And then this one I'm going to multiply by 5. And this one I'm going to multiply, I have to squeeze here a little bit, 7 and 7 top and the bottom. So the answer becomes 12 over 35. Okay, we're going to do exactly the same thing, only this time the denominators are a little more complicated. I have a sine x, I have a 1 plus cosine x. They have nothing in common whatsoever. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to multiply the first one that's missing sine x. So I'm going to copy it over here. As you get more familiar familiar with those concepts, then you don't have to write as much. I encourage my students at the beginning when they're starting this, write as much as you think you can put up with. And the reason is that later on your head, your mind will pick it up and then you don't have to write nearly as much. But the, at the beginning, write as much as you can put up with so you had to get some sort of practice to picking up those things. Alright, what I did is yeah, I multiply the bottom here for the first two. I have a common denominator for both of them. And then sine squared goes on top for the first one. Now over here I do have to distribute the terms into each one of them. So the first term becomes cosine x and the second term becomes cosine squared x. Now this is the cool part about a trick. Where else can you have this thing looking so weird, but when you add them together, it's actually equal to 1, okay, as simple as it gets. So we're going to actually combine those two, and that becomes 1 plus cosine x on top. And I have a sine x on the bottom, multiply 1 plus cosine x. You treat this thing as a 1 term by itself, multiply 1, this whole thing cancels. Then you have 1 over sine x. Well, so for this reason, I, I like I like trig simplification because a complicated thing, remember where we started, but this complicated thing is actually when you simplify it equal to cosecant x. Kind of looks cool, I think. Okay, When you can actually grab something so complicated and make it so simple. All right, I hope that this is clear. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pim. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.